Hi, this is Miroslav Beck. I'm the video marketing expert and welcome to my blog. I started this blog because I want to share with you some of uh, the uh, experiences I had at the recent Glazer Kennedy Super Conference in Nashville, where we met a lot of great people and uh, it was just a phenomenal experience. And also I decided that I'm going to start a weekly weekly blog postings, uh, video blogs, on, uh, on a subject that I know a lot about, which is video and marketing uh, kind of combined together. So that's what really makes me video marketing expert is, you know, me helping people and businesses to incorporate video in their marketing. I make videos that are really profitable for companies. And I'm going to share with you uh, in the next few weeks uh, some of the secrets and, uh, and uh, techniques I'm using to create very profitable money-making videos for my clients and show you how people use video online and offline. So this is not just a web video uh, and, you know, tutorial or something or instructional video. I'm going to kind of cover all different ways you can use video in your marketing. And again, it's not going to be limited to just online videos. Now for this week, I, uh, I want to share with you some of, the, uh, some of the thoughts I have on the super conference in Nashville. I go there every year. It's uh, different places, but it's an annual event for Glazer Canada Insider Circle. And uh, this year we had just phenomenal lineup of speakers. I mean, first we had Gene Simmons. You can see a picture of me and Gene, or maybe Gene and I, I should say, because he would probably correct me on that, uh, below. And uh, he just, you know, he's a phenomenal marketer and businessman. I mean, if you know him just as a lead singer in KISS, uh, that's, that's probably very little of what he does. I mean, he probably became known like that, but uh, he is a phenomenal marketer. Uh, I didn't know that he actually is the one that created the I'm Indy for the IndyCar racing uh, series. So uh, now they uh, uh, are using that to brand themselves, and he came up with it. Uh, now I think they're going to take IndyCar to uh, some uh, some island where they're going to build a new track, so they're going to have just a totally new venue just because of him and his input. And um, he definitely, you know, when he talks, you, you definitely want to listen. I got his book, The uh, Sex Money Kiss, and I'm, re- I'm about halfway through, and so far it's it's been a really great book on marketing and running your business, not necessarily just as a behind the scenes of the life, you know, of a case, uh, case lead man. Then second person I ran into and talked to in, a, in one of the hallways was uh, George Ross. He is the, um, he is the apprent- uh, he's from Donald Trump's Apprentice. Uh, George normally sits next to, uh, next to Donald and, uh, you know, he's one of his advisors, but his job actually is a negotiator. He is the chief negotiator for Donald Trump. And, you know, he looks on TV and, and The Apprentice, he looks all tough and everything. But when you talk to him uh, outside of the boardroom, I guess, uh, he is just the nicest guy. I mean, he was just so nice to talk to. The second person I got to, uh, I got to meet was George Ross from The Apprentice. Uh, he is on Donald Trump's uh, chief negotiator. And inside the boardroom, and if you saw him on TV, which, by the way, watching Apprentice is a really good thing to do, even though it's a show. You know, you might not be a big fan of the show itself, but there's always a great marketing and business uh, business message in it. So I've been watching it since season one. And uh, so it was great to actually meet uh, George Ross uh, in person, but he is just the nicest person you've ever met. I mean, he was just, it was great talking to him. And the two questions I asked him and the insight I got is that Gene Simmons actually really didn't get totally fired, fired. He really wanted to get himself fired because you know it looks like that he's got plenty of uh, plenty of other things to do, and uh, you know went through a couple of weeks on the apprentice and then uh, got himself out. And then Omarosa finally they said will not be back. So thank you. I mean uh, she was fine for the first season and okay you know f- shortly after, but but uh, I did not enjoy watching her on the last Celebrity Apprentice. And was, you know, really just cheering for her to get fired every single time. But, you know, eh, that's how they get the rating, I guess. But uh, the next person that really, I really enjoyed their, his presentation, he was a keynote speaker. His name is Nido Kubain. And uh, I believe that he is uh, one of the uh, directors or president of uh, a great harvest company, the bread company, and uh, also a president of uh, college. And... He just, I mean, he is just really full of knowledge. His story and, you know, all his business advice and the way he got where he is and everything else. I mean, that really was a great motivational presentation. And uh, I, I can't wait to, uh, to hear more, uh, more of Nido and, uh, 
and what he has to say. Like he's got some product out there right now with CDs and DVDs and stuff that, uh, and books that he written. So I'm going to give you some update on that when I read his books and when I see his videos. I'll probably do another special post just on that. And overall, of course, Dan Kennedy and Bill Glazer and Lee Miltier, I mean, those are all the people that, uh, that I follow, and they, they did a phenomenal job, of course. Uh, you know, they always do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wrap this up for today. Uh, tune, uh, tune in uh, if you want to subscribe to this blog to get enough notification. I'm going to try to uh, put every week a new strategy on uh, how some of my clients use video in their marketing. And I think that's going to be uh, really good information. It's not going to be any fluff and stuff. It will be really just kind of maybe every week I'm going to post one new strategy and show you how uh, some of my clients made a really lot of money by incorporating video in their marketing. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.